Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic, the Define Scope Process. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in project management or you are planning to give exam of PMP in near future. So let's start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. Friend, Define Scope is a process of developing a detailed description of the project and product. The key benefit of defined scope process is that it describes the project boundaries by defining which of the requirements collected will be uh, included in the project. The input for a defined scope project includes the project charter, the project management plan, project documents, enterprise environmental factor and organizational process assets. First we shall discuss about the project charter. The project charter is a document that provides the high-level project description and product characteristics. It also enlists all the project approval requirements. If a project charter is not being used to its fullest in any organization, then comparable information needs to be developed and used as a basis for the detailed project scope statement. In situations where the organizations do not produce a formal project charter for setting out common goals, rules and regulations, they will usually perform an informal analysis to identify the content necessary for further scope planning. The Project Management Plan Both project management and scope management plans have the same characteristics but whereas the project management plan documents how the project scope will be defined, validated and controlled. Project Documents Examples of project documents that can be listed as inputs for defining a scope are assumption log. The role of assumption log is to identify the assumptions and constraints about the project, but product, stakeholders, environment and other factors that can influence the project and the product scope. Requirement documentation, the process of identifying the list of requirements that are to be incorporated into the project scope. The risk register, the risk register mainly contains response strategies that may affect the project scope by reducing the project and the product scope to avoid or mitigate a risk that is to occur in the project. Enterprise environmental factor, which includes the uh, organization's culture, infrastructure, personal administration, marketplace conditions. Organizational process assets. The factors that influence the defined scope process include policies, procedures and templates for a project scope statement, project files from previous projects, lesson learned from previous phases and projects. Now the defined scope of project tools and techniques we use which includes the expert judgment, data analysis, decision making, interpersonal and team skills and product analysis. Expert judgment. With regards to the technique of expert judgment and one has always to consult a group or an individual who has exceptional knowledge in dealing with similar projects. Data analysis. The best example of data analysis technique that can be used in this process is alternative analysis. This alternative analysis helps in evaluating ways to meet the requirements and objectives that are identified in the project charter. Decision making. Multi criteria decision analysis is the best example of this particular process. Under this technique, a decision matrix is used to provide a systematic analytical approach for establishing necessities like requirements, schedules, budget and resources to clarify the project and product scope. Interpersonal and team skills. An example of interpersonal and team skills is the facilitation process. This process is mainly used in workshops and sessions happening with key stakeholders who are always high on expectations. The ultimate goal of this process is to reach a cross-functional and shared understanding of the project deliverables. Product analysis. Product analysis is used to define the products and services related to a particular project. 
uh, the process includes uh, very important that it includes the uh, asking questions about a product or services and generating answers to describe the use characteristics and other relevant aspects of what is going to be delivered the following are the examples related to product analysis process which includes process breakdown okay uh, then requirement analysis system analysis system engineering value analysis and value engineering now uh, the defined scope of project the outputs uh, which includes the project scope statement a project scope statement is a detailed description of the uh, project scope which includes significant deliverables assumptions and constraints it also documents the project scope and the product scope and describes the projects deliverables and the work related to deliver them based on the uh, level and degree of detail the project scope statement defines the work that will be performed and the work that is minimized can help determine how well the project management team can control the overall project scope the important component of project scope statement includes product scope description a method used to elaborate on the characteristics of the product that are defined in the project charter and requirement documentation acceptance criteria a set of conditions are required to be met before the final deliverables are accepted by the stakeholders deliverable any unique and verifiable product that is required to be produced to complete a process phase or project project execution a method to exclude the feasible products from the scope of the project to help the project manager to manage the stakeholders expectations the elements of the project charter and the project scope statement also so uh, friend uh, then uh, friend uh, the project charter elements are like project purpose high level requirements overall project risk measurable project object objectives and related success criteria high level project description boundaries and key deliverables uh, summary milestone um, summary milestone uh, schedule pre approved financial resources key stakeholder list project approval requirements that are what constitutes success who decide the project is successful who sign off the project project exit criteria what are the conditions to be met to close or to cancel the project or phase assigned project manager responsibility and authority level name and authority of the sponsor or another person authorizing the project charter so uh, friend thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope uh, you like this video if you like it please share it with the friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video thank you friends